Hey everybody, uh, happy Tuesday, uh, nice day today, a little warm and sticky, uh, started off, uh, this morning with, uh, some thunder and lightning and some light rain, nothing you'd call thunderstorms, but, uh, there was thunder and lightning, it's since cleared off, still kind of hazy, but still a pretty decent day, so, perfect day to do a, do a beer that's, uh, meant to be, uh, drank in the winter, yeah, right. Anyway, I, I debated on whether I was going to do this or not. Uh, I did last year's edition, but I figured, what the heck. I'm, it's uh, got, a, they say, six months shelf life, keep refrigerated. It's been refrigerated for five months now, so. Going to do the last of the uh, six pack I bought of the, this year's edition of the Bell's Consecrator Doppelbach. Uh, darn good beer. Uh, I'm, it might still be on the shelf someplace, but if it, if it is, it's getting up there. Uh, but anyway, uh, from the website, it says, uh, Reddish brown in color with a mild hot profile. Concentrator Doppelbach is a well-balanced, full-bodied lager with hints of caramel molasses in its smooth, malty finish. As with our other lager brands, Con Consecrator undergoes a lengthy lagering period. Unlike the six-week profile of the other two brands, Consecrator experiences a full three months in the fermenting vessel giving it exceptionally smooth character. In order to best preserve the flavor and shelf life of the beer, it is recommended that Bell's Consecrator Doppelbach be kept refrigerated, which it has been. 8% uh, ABV, uh, brewed, it says brewed for a Fat Tuesday release. This was bottled on January 23rd, so it's just, just five months old, not quite five months old, so. Uh, Getting towards the end of a six month shelf life, so let me get it in the glass. Just a standard Bell's cap. Just going to use a standard pint glass here. Yeah, it looks good for a lager. We got a that finger, we I had, had maybe half a finger of a foamy, thin, foamy head, brown head that it's gone already. If you look quick, you can see it at the beginning of the video. But we got a, a fairly clear, um, not cloudy at all, uh, dark brown, copper color, copper, copper colored beer, uh, moderate amount of uh, carbonation streaming up. Good looking for, good looking for a. Uh, for a doppel box, so let me get a nose on it. Oh yeah, you get that uh, that strong caramel malt aroma, some toffee, sweetness, breadiness, definitely, definitely that toffee caramel. Uh, touch of dark fruit in there. Not a not a not a lot of hops, but uh, there weren't even when it was fresh. Um, mostly a really malt forward beer. So uh, let me get a taste. Yeah, yeah, you definitely get that really, really rich malt, caramel flavors, um, almost a nutty nuttiness, like some uh, roasted chestnuts, um, toffee, maybe, maybe just a hint of uh, ginger, some coffee, some roasted grain. Very, very sweet, uh, right down to the finish. Um, uh, Sweet malts, caramel, toffee, that uh, that dried fruit taste, almost like um, not quite raisins, but pretty close to raisins. Um, more like dates, maybe, or something like that. Uh, the finish just has a very, very faint, very mild, slight bitterness, slight hot bitterness. There may be a little bit left there. Um, Mouthfeel, it's um. Considering the high ABV, it's a, it's a bit thin. It's a it's a medium medium light uh, mouthfeel. Uh, good carbonation though. Uh, really a nice um, easy drinking beer even in the warm weather. So let me sit sip on this a while, and I'll come back after a while with the final thoughts and grade. Okay, I'm back. It's been half an hour or so. Uh, I'm out here almost to the 11th hole here on the frisbee golf course. Had some. 
Frisbee golfers come through. I may have a couple more subscribers. Asked what I was doing, and I told them I'd uh, stuck the beer in the cooler and everything before I uh, before they came by. But uh, anyway, um, as it's warmed up, and it's warmed up considerably, uh, I noticed the uh, not a lot has changed, but either on the aroma or the flavor. But that, the alcohol has come out a little bit. Not so much, not so much on the aroma, and even real, not so much on the taste. Um, but you can feel it um, just as it goes down, just at the the very end of the palate, as it goes down your throat. You can feel that warmth. But you can't really, uh, can't really, t I can't at least really taste the the alcohol on it. But um, overall, this is a good, um, nice American take on a on a German style uh, that I do like. I do like Doppelbox. Um, I I buy it again. Uh, I'll buy next. You know, I'll buy, I'll buy next year's again when it comes out. I. You know, I normally don't buy more than a six pack, but uh, anyway, uh, I'm gonna, I can't even remember. I did, did rate it before. I can't even remember what I gave it. I'm gonna have to go back and check and see, but uh, I'm gonna give uh, the 2013 Consecrator Doppelbach from Bells, uh, five months old. Still gonna get a good solid uh, nine out of 10 for me. So till next time, everybody cheers. Let's keep drinking good beers.